All right, it's your boy Big Rich with another mob report. Colombo family boss Car Carmine Persico has passed away. Last month, according to reports, Carmine Persico, the official boss of the Colombo crime family, passed away at Duke University Medical Center. The cause of his death is still unknown, though he had reportedly been in poor health of late, suffering from various ailments, including emphysema. He was currently housed at a medium-security federal prison in Butner, North Carolina. The 85-year-old New York Mafia boss reportedly took control of the family back in the 1970s. He rose through the ranks of the Cosa Nostra family after being recruited into the Mafia by Profasi crime family captain Frank Abatemarco. The Profasi family was the forerunner to today's Colombo crime family. His historical rise to the ranks of organized crime has been well documented. Persico wasn't named the snake by accident. His penchant for treachery and deceit pushed the Persico family into power. After the murder of former boss Joseph Colombo in 1971, Carmine orchestrated the murder of rival mobster Joey Gallo. He had turned on the Gallo brothers years before during an internal family war meant to take down boss Joe Perfassi. This paved the way for the Persicos to take control of the New York Mafia family. He was now the boss of a powerful organized crime family, which only made a bigger target for law enforcement, and he would spend more time behind bars than he did on the streets. Carmine relied on family ties to maintain his grip on the Colombo family during this time as a guest of the government. His brothers Alphonse and Theodore held down leadership positions in the families in the, in the 70s and 80s while Carmine was away. In 1984, he and most of the Colombo family hierarchy were indicted on racketeering charges. After going into hiding, he was eventually taken into custody in 1985 and, and while he was in prison, was indicted again. This time, it was along with several other alleged bosses of the mafia in New York in what came to be known as the Mafia Commission case. Carmine decided to serve as his own lawyer, which ended in disaster, and he was found guilty in both the Colombo and Commission trials. He was sentenced to a staggering 139 years behind bars, even though he was even though he was clearly going to spend the rest of his life in prison, his hold on the Colombo family continued. He would name multiple acting bosses, including his brother Alfie Boy and his son Little Ali Boy, keeping the family in the hands of the Persico faction. The Colombo family would once again find itself at war as an internal beef broke out between rival factions. One faction was loyal to Persico and the other to rival mobster Victor Little Vic Orena, from per whom Persico had installed as acting boss. Orena made a move to wrestle control of the family from the Persico clan, which led to multiple murders on both sides. It also attracted the attention of law enforcement, which led to over 60 indictments and 50 convictions severely crippling the crime family. Alphonse Alleyboy Persico would eventually be sent to prison for life like his father after being found guilty of the murder of William Cotullo. The Persico family reign was slowly weakened, although it seemed clear the beleaguered crime family wouldn't be completely out from under until Carmine Persico was gone. With fewer and fewer family members and allies on the streets, the Persico family's control seemed to be nearing the finish line. Now the New York mob family finds itself without an official boss for the first time in many years and in search of a new leadership and direction. There will be undoubtedly be plenty of speculation as to who the next in line to take the reins as organization moves into a new era. It seems as though current acting boss Andrew Andy Mush Russo may be the right man for the job. He seems to be well respected on the streets and could step in as the new official boss of the family in what would seem to be fairly smooth transition. Although there may be other candidates that emerge once the dust has settled. The Colombo family may still be the weakest of the New York Five families, but they have steadied the ship some in recent years. They are believed to still have anywhere from 50 to 70 made mobsters and are still a very viable organized crime family with reports of their demise being a bit premature. This is your boy Big Rich with another mob story. Thank you for listening. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you can, please 
donate. Thank you so much. I want to wish everybody a great afternoon salute.